Like she looks so different without makeup and they're getting at her and like um, stopping at certain images in the video and like making fun of her. So Cardi B took to social media and she um, clapped back something called black clapback means when somebody says something to you, you have a clapback for it, right? And so what, it, what I'm trying to get with this about social media advocates is a lot of people were saying, since you are a celebrity party and you have this uh, success and you're rich and et cetera, et cetera, your etiquette is to do, you're not supposed to clap back on regular individuals. You're not like, basically like you're not like one of us. Like if I make fun of you, Nomad, you can make fun of me because me and you are two regular folks. But Cardi B is not in our tax bracket. So we're allowed to hurt her feelings. We're allowed to say whatever we want about her. And she is not technically human and she can't take it personal. She's like, I'm a human. She made a whole video saying, I'm comfortable in my skin. If I record a video backstage with no makeup, I'm obviously comfortable because I let it out to the world. Um, so do you guys agree that part of social media etiquette is for like celebrities not to clap back? Honestly, what do you guys think? Honestly, for me, I feel like people sometimes forget that everybody's human. Facts. Right? You see how you said the whole Cardi B thing. There was a whole incident with Kevin Durant mm -hmm. where he had a burner account mm -hmm. and he was getting back at people that were getting at him for joining the Warriors. So he had a whole account and they <laughs> found out later on that he had a fake burner account mm -hmm. making fun of people it's easy and getting back link, at them. Your email's linked to it so it's like burner yeah, account. So they, so they figured it out. But mm -hmm. like, I wasn't mad at Kevin Durant. I got it. I'm like, yo, like, people is getting at him all day long. People are saying, oh, you're a loser, you're trash, you betrayed, you did this, you, you, you're not a, like, now they're, now they're talking about your ethics, your family, your morals. Now they're putting things into it that have nothing to do with anything. Like, people are talking about his mother. Like, what does his mom have to do with a decision that has to do with basketball? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, me, celebrities, when they clap back and they talk back, it shows me that they're human. Mm. Like, I want them to have feelings. I want them to have feelings and have emotions and be able to talk back. But this social media etiquette thing is, oh, if you're a celebrity, you got to act a certain way. No, you don't. I feel like it only applies to a certain individual and puts another person in privilege. You know, it doesn't, because you're right, Cardi B is human, Kevin Durant is human, but... 
how about people like Beyonce and Jay-Z that you will never see in history Beyonce clapping back. So they're saying like, if Beyonce can be dragged through the matter for the past 20 years, why is Cardi taking everything to the internet? Because Beyonce That's has what, behind. No, so she no, even, 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 yeah, even a call, but you know, still, people really criticize Nick, um, Beyonce for not even having her first child. Remember how they were saying like, she had a fake pregnancy? Yeah. It doesn't matter, even if you have people behind you, everybody has gotten dragged before and they get taught social media training. Like you're literally told what to say, how to talk. So I feel like Cardi B goes against that and that's why she's kind of picked at more. I feel like the more you clap back at these people, the more you feed them. I myself, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I felt like I've been social media bullied a lot of times in my life. Like people would get at me, this and that. Some of them wanted that, I'm not gonna lie, some things I didn't look for, but it's a continuous thing as I've noticed. It's so easy to block somebody, like block, Block, block. You know what I'm trying to say? We're not doing that. We're not talking about five years ago. Block, you know? But it's like the more I would reply and like build a comment section underneath my pictures, it's just more, it gets more chaotic. And I generally feel like, yes, you're human. Yes, um, things get under your skin. But social media etiquette sometimes is there to not even hurt you, just to maybe like give you thicker skin or maybe like try to make you have a blind eye to this kind of stuff. Cause they're saying like, just train yourself that these people, you don't even know them. You don't know any of these people personally. So why do you take it personal? No, but like sometimes there's people in the comments that you know. And you nah, follow nah, nah, on nah. that person and you can be like, what's oh, up? Where's yeah, that, you're right, where's you're that right, same right. shit oh, you was totally talking? Right. Where's that at? Mm -hmm. Right? So we can't take that away from them. And I'm not lying to you. I support every single contact. If a celebrity or a ball player or anybody that makes millions of dollars or is on the world stage, if they want to clap back at a guy in Timbuktu on his mom's computer in her basement, yeah. I respect it. As as you like, like, that's how we grew up. We grew up talking shit. So if you're gonna talk shit, you gotta be able to take it. Um, you know what I mean? I'll, uh, I'm gonna chime in on this uh, social media etiquette. Even though I don't use social media, mm -hmm. I feel like that uh, social rules and social media etiquette go hand in hand where people will always um, assume how they, how, who you are. They're going to assume who you are and they're going to perceive you in a certain way, in a certain manner. I, I personally like Cardi B, not for her music or what she says, but her bravery. Because I remember when the Libya, the, the Libya slavery incident came out, she was the first person in the public eye to speak about it. Did you guys know that? No, I did not. The first person out of anybody. And that blew my mind. She's a very intellectual person. Uh, I stand behind her or whatever. She, she can use all her platforms. She says, I use my platform yeah. for things that a lot of celebrities don't, don't do. take the bullet for. Yeah. Um, and people just go back to the same thing. You're like, she <laughs> stands on what she believes. Or you're that. Or your husband, every time he's uh, like cheating on you. And like, she's like, you guys, I feel like, I'm not going to lie. Cardi B is not weak. She's very, very strong. But Definitely, it's like yeah. they're trying to deteriorate who she is. And it's, they don't. Yeah, I, it's, you know what it is when when you go against somebody's belief system, people. That's when two different worlds clash. I feel like we there's eight billion different worlds amongst one earth. So every time you have a confrontation, it's two worlds colliding. Cardi B, she I do not agree with her methods or what she chooses to uh, share, mm -hmm. but I definitely respect her in everything she does because she whatever she believes she stands, she on. stands on it right. so there's a method to her madness there is a method to her madness so I, think, <laughs> I, rock, I, rock. I rock with her yeah well, I you, rock you, with her she's like, like, her personality she, and who she, she is she's as a person like, she is who she is she's like, she won over the year she yeah. won over the year and, 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 of 2020 and, and then guess what if I could vote I'd vote for her yeah, there's a mayor in I think Alabama that was like he started his speech when he's like the world that we live in um, Cardi B won woman of the year and she, again she was like why do you guys continuously take jabs at me I'm not the first successful female stripper I'm not the first successful female rapper if I make women of the year she goes you don't know how many fights that I fought to get here you know what I'm trying to say so social media sometimes it boxes people I, I, I want to add something to it so you see how um, Cardi B she, you were talking about it what, two weeks ago about going against the tide she definitely went against the tide when it was not cool to be a stripper and rap when all that stuff she was dragged
dragged through the mud over and over and over again, but she stuck on what she believed mm-hmm. and look where she ended up. That's the most important thing. Um, There's so many different ways. She was, she was, I mean, yeah. I followed Cardi B when she was mobile. Yeah. And she was just hilarious. Exactly. She was just I honestly, I thought she shared too much. Um, and I feel like a lot of like, even my nieces and stuff uh, follow her and listen to her. I personally think Cardi B is a little bit on the explicit side. A little bit. I'm sorry. You know she shows too much and she says too much. But she was having fun with it. You, you guys know what she's on? I'm on that. Yeah, you know I, I, no, I, I, I rock her. I, you're, you're insane for that. <laughs> but, you're insane. Is it? You know, the crazy part is with Cardi B, I remember seeing a video, I remember seeing a video of her when her song was playing and she turned it off so her kid wouldn't hear it. Yes. Yeah. What does that tell you? She, oh, she, she spoke on that, though. What did she, she say? She said it. She said it. She spoke on that. She, she, she spoke she on She was saying that she's too young to understand this stuff and a lot of people are adults and my music is not only to, like, uh, one genre or, like, a specific group of people, but my child is a toddler. You can't compare a toddler to an adult. Yeah, she's not playing that and that shows you that she has a moral set of rules yeah. and respect yeah. so she wants that music for grown she women to much. shave their behind she still shares not much. for let's, children let's, let's you, not, just, like, you just want to see a whole lot of action yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. if I wanted that no 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 if I wanted that Magic City no, no, if I, you guys if, if you're I listening that, take smooth to no, Magic City no, relax it's, it's I, I, I've been to different places <laughs> but that's, that's a whole different story you don't want different kind of words but if I wanted that I would have just been team Nicki Minaj but I'm not I'm more team Cardi B because she's I rock her personality I rock her as a person I rock her what she does mm. like besides all the wild stuff she does she's herself yeah. at the end of the day Cardi's gonna be Cardi and I'm gonna respect that she never gonna give me someone else <laughs> like you're not gonna get someone else she's not gonna half ass she's not gonna give you oh yeah I'm put together I'm this she's from the neighborhood she made it off the neighborhood she represents the neighborhood and she's still holding and she's still, uh, shout out to her so well so so we could all agree here on this panel that it does exist. Of course it does. Of course. What is social media etiquette? What do you need to follow? Oh, no, I disagree with that. I you don't? I don't believe I think you should do whatever you no, want. No, I believe there's a bar set that you need to I think that's imaginary. Into. That's imaginary. I think because no, 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 Cardi B proved about? that it doesn't exist. They she beat that. Movie, what they were movie, you know, Kevin just, Durant beat that. How many, you know, how many of her videos get removed? She's like, not this again. Okay, what do you, Instagram, what do you want? So there is a guideline. Yeah, because like, she kind of goes boozy. off sometimes. Was one of boozy yeah, the so he had that. He had a woman jumping on live, Maybe. doing things for money, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Instagram, and the account and multiple and times, <laughs> and he's crying, saying, can I get my account back? And they're telling him, well, give it to me, you can't do that. That's not social media etiquette, that's Instagram guidelines. <laughs> that's a Same different thing. thing. There's a, there's a rule. And that's Instagram deciding what that's Instagram deciding oh, yes Instagram's uh, obviously getting this from the world we would want to see women romping and chomping on and I follow a little boozy I don't want to see that free boozy I'm <laughs> done with you free is the cap so you guys we do agree that there is guidelines my my panelists here are having way too much fun this <laughs> It's very disgusting when you see the side of social media when it's not filtered. Sometimes we need to filter and there needs to be some sort of moral etiquette before even social media guidelines. Like right now, you could post a video of a guy getting shot on social media. It'll just say, oh, this is a warning. Yeah, sensitive, warning whatever. Yeah. Um, sensitive subject or like that, like that sign you have to click it. But you know everybody's clicking it regardless. Of We're not as, but, but there's some things that I don't click. Like that I wouldn't click, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not the type of curiosity kid to clap. No, I don't want to see nobody get shot. I don't want to see no blood, nothing. It's, it's good that it has that kind of guidelines, but I think it should be a little bit more stricter. Um, just because a lot of like, well, I, a lot of negative uh, things get spread on social media easy um, without these pressured guidelines and etiquettes. Well, when it comes to um, social media etiquette, like you were saying, there's no specific guideline to it. It's like a mob mentality to moral conduct, yeah. to moral conduct mm-hmm. anything. Because if you look in the last 10 years, I feel like society as a whole, the moral compass has swung towards uh, more fun than uh, protecting the, the morality of mankind. Mm-hmm. More things are more acceptable in the last 10 years than I've seen in my entire life. No, I disagree. I disagree with that. Do you? Wow. Now, because now we're in the cancel culture. So no, but that, you're right. But without even the cancel culture, we're even canceling. You're seeing a lot of things that are more accepted than like no. ten years ago. You're right. Like right now, let's be real. 
realistic. There's a lot of th- more things that people could show on social media that people are not going to look at them like strange. Like, like the whole, man. the whole like um, women uh, breastfeeding on social media. That's become an uproar. Before, like no one threw their nipple out and took a picture. It could be absolutely normal. Everybody knows like we all got breastfed. Like, like that. And now more people are putting up stuff. Yes, like that a, they, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have so done before. Oh, 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 out oh, on a TL. Oh, 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 I also feel like no, I disagree on that because yeah. the cancel culture is Isn't so it real. It's so real. Does it allow people to be themselves now? Like the same. Like I feel like one thing that's getting watered down because it's a social media etiquette thing mm. okay. is comedy. Like me, I love comedy. Me too. Mm-hmm. I love comedy. The sensitivity and level's gone up. So now all the legendary comedians that that I grew up on, I don't think right now if they were out right now doing the same things they were doing back then, mm-hmm. they'd all be canceled. Okay. Cedric the Entertainer. How much did Matt. Kevin Hart get canceled? Like, Kevin he Hart, recently, he doesn't he recently, do anything. No, he recently got canceled for um, calling his daughter a hoe because he's like, my daughter came and she told me there's three guys that she likes at school and the three different reasons. And then he's like, uh, she's like, oh, father, which one should I pick? He goes, damn, the whole time I was thinking, my daughter a hoe. And the whole social media went crazy. And, and they're saying and that, that's such a joke. Oh, this is it's a, a mean mis- it. misogynistic world that we live in. Like, they took the joke and they literally dissected that's it. That's what I'm saying. You know? So now it's hard to be I can't comedian. Understand that. Now it's very, very, very hard to be a no, comedian. I can't understand what's you mean. know what I mean? It's very hard to be a comedian. It's very hard to be, comedian. It's very hard to be funny. It's very hard to be yourself. And now also. It's a little bit of both, though. No. There's it, people that kind of will do whatever they want. They'll go against the grain. Like Amber Rose. Like Amber Rose had a slut walk. Yeah. Who would you have no? When would you have heard of a slut walk 10 years ago? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? I agree. I, agree. And then, yeah, I don't think that would have happened 10 but, years ago. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's also like, how can you really be yourself? Because now we're in the age of, let's say, let's say right now, Bella or Nomad, let's say you guys. Hopefully, you know, blow up and you guys do big things. Inshallah. Inshallah. So, you know what's going to happen now? They're going to go back. They're going to check your MySpace, no man. They're going to check what you said on your MySpace. They're going to hold you to one day, And one day you could have said, I don't like yellow flowers. Somehow, some way, it's going to turn into this guy doesn't like the planet. He's literally telling I threw a bottle off the floor. I literally. That's what you wrote on your MySpace. They're going to bring that up and be like, look at this guy. He doesn't care about the environment. And you can cancel for that. I have a confession. So I was almost canceled on YouTube for a couple months. I'm not gonna lie. Don't talk about it. Why? Why would you bring it back up? But it's okay because uh, like, I, I apologize. You beat the case. You beat the case. You the case. Here. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's gonna no. come back <laughs> round two. <Okay. laughs> I'm ready for this game. No, I need to go anymore. No one's up So I have a confession to make. I almost quote unquote got canceled yeah. on YouTube. Um, twice actually. I never remember the first time. Wow. Actually. Oh, wow. So the first one I went against Dina Tokyo. Dina Tokyo. She's a hijabi in the UK. She's half white, half I think Arab. Mm. Um, and she said that the hijab is not something obligatory. It's something that's a choice. Mm. And so for World Hijab Day, I spoke about the eye that uh, in the Quran, Surah Nisan, and then I t- took a bunch of clips from her. And I kind of refuted her and said how dumb she sounds. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't say it in the nicest manner, which a lot of people jag me for saying like, oh, you know how you're a hijabi and they think like, why are you not talking with Madison? Can yes, not in my opinion. If you wanted to give this girl that way, why didn't you go in her DMs? Her DMs are. Then she made a video saying hijabi bullying me, and then my video even went more viral. You know, I was in the front page. Like, I got like. The, almost 240k views whatever and it was like some people were on my side and other people was like her akhlaq is the, she's wearing makeup she this they started going to my Instagram saying like you wear pants you're disgusting no 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 like going crazy like you know so just like you were you were saying I couldn't have a, like all I was doing is trying to defend something that I believe was close to me that's half and I was being cancelled by my own people but, Muslim people but this comes right? back yeah, but this comes back to social media etiquette because now they're saying why? Could have done it. They said it multiple times, and the fact that she went uh, and did a victimized video right away, I was like, and it was really me. It was like six like main hijabi mainstream YouTubers, and it was like I probably just had, 
I kept saying like, who's listening to this? She's been canceled. So I kind of came off. Uh, I gave like the kind of a uh, kind of a bully yeah. tactic. Yeah. You know how I talk. Yeah. So it's like, oh, she's ghetto as hell. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So um, I regretted it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I took the video down. Um, and I I took had to take a step back because you know sometimes when you're in the moment you don't know what certain messages could cause somebody. Yeah. I thought I was helping, but in the end it looked like I did more damage because the girl literally came with a video crying, saying like, "You guys want me to die?" That I've never said any of that, but I don't know what my video must have caused yeah, yeah, yeah. certain people to be like, "Yeah, she's a like, kufar." Oh, yeah. I've never used any of those terminologies. No, people, Even people. in the comments, every time they were saying something, I was like, "Huh? Did you guys just watch my video?" Because I didn't say any of that. No, because it's also like it's it's back to it's just like the how at the beginning we were talking about the whole Beyonce beehive thing. Mm -hmm. You may have not said it. Somebody may have watched your video and been influenced by your video yeah, ignited and them. ignited that person, and they went and said some wild stuff to that person based on what they watched off your video. Oh, I watched no. Bella's video, mm -hmm. and I think you're this, that, and the third. I think you're the scum of the earth and they go make fun of someone and they go do something but you don't know the impact you're having mm -hmm. by pulling that out and you're not that's not your message but someone's taking it remixing it adding on their own spice and putting your name behind it being like I rock a bell and this there is that 806 comments of people going back and forth how this is the Quran this is the how the end of time is coming I don't, and then sometimes it makes you feel like well why like should I have even spoke about this but it's like why not I feel like my nieces or little Muslim girls are looking at a huge person that they love so much and my dude this lady got all her followers of being a hijabi modest uh, fashion girl on YouTube so a lot of people felt betrayed when she took off the hijab and said I, I'm no longer gonna wear this because I don't feel like it's obligatory so I feel like she got to tell her truth so for people to not respond to that, it was like she was looking for that. You wanted a response, and you got the response, and then it was like I'm getting bullied. But she probably thought the response was too public. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I, I would never have gotten to her. She has like yeah. a million followers. But she, she chose would have that. She chose that path by going on YouTube. No, of course she did. Of course she did. But and Bella's also right because she had millions of followers. I would never. What, yeah. I would what, have what would make her? What would make her open Bella's? Mm -hmm. Like comment to her and say, oh, if Bella went, let's say she went the other route mm -hmm. and she had messaged her, the same message, made a video and sent it to her and be like, sister, this is how I feel. Da -da -da. And she, do you think she would respond? I don't think she would respond. If she did what? No, if, if, but if, 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 if Bella wrote like, it out. Why don't you do it like, like privately? You yeah. have a million followers. Let's go with like I, my if, if, she her, DM'd, if she DM'd her the same message mm -hmm. that she had instead of making a video, would she have replied to Bella? I think she, I, I, right. I think Bella was right in her actions because that's dangerous what she did. She's misleading a lot of young uh, hijabis of course. by saying that this is not obligatory in religion-wise. She's doing that for her own self-interest yeah. to protect herself from the ridicule that she was getting. Of course. So I'm going to give an example. When Prophet Muhammad Sallam died, as soon as he died, it was it was the uh, most chaotic. The most chaotic. Mm -hmm. The Islam went different directions. You have um, the Shias. You had different sects being created. So mankind itself. Uh, there's a there's a verse in Surah Al Kaf where Allah says, "Ever is mankind prone to dispute." So mankind is will always have an opinion. But like I was saying, there's eight billion different worlds you got to choose which world is yours. Absolutely. And when it comes to social media etiquette, it comes, I believe personally, you need to make a decision on whatever you choose to do, stand on it. Regardless of what it is, good or bad, it's on you. So are you saying that um, if you put something out there like that, like how should it... Anyone, you should be able to face anyone who's ridicule coming back towards you. Is that what you're saying? Anybody should be able to reply to you. Everybody you stand on something, mm -hmm. and you brought it in, to the forefront, like how this girl did the hijab obligatory. Do you think we have the right to dispute that in social media? Or you definitely, that? I definitely think you should. Anybody, if you if you Fair. disbelieve what a person is saying, you have a right to ask them why, and you have a right to dispute it, yeah. regardless of who they are. You have a right to respond. So. When talking about Kevin Durant and him doing the little burner thing it sent him down a path of him trying to defend himself yeah. and eventually if you 
remember he said I don't care anymore yeah. and then he started going insane on the court yeah. LeBron James went through it yeah. right yeah. Drake even went through it that's why he had, he, that, what is that try, that song he has a laugh now cry later <laughs> I'm tired of beefing you bums you can't even pay me enough to react you yeah. gotta get to a point in life where you do not care what people say you make your decisions keep, keep going you have to you have, have to, to. You have to stand and, no, but the, and that's you what, stand going up. back to the Cardi B thing she's not there yet she won woman of the year uh, six Grammys like yeah. she's still like there's something about her that she yells I have thick skin but then and then she cries about every little thing she gets like well, but she's, not, she's a clap back no but you have to understand regardless if you clap back if you do all you're that, not gonna win no, by clapping back no, it's only gonna hurt no, I feel like I personally feel like you are giving you're, you're giving people ammunition like no. the people love uh, respond no of course they, but, they, but they not no, no, I also, aggravated her no, today. I, I believe that, but also you have to understand the human aspect of it all. Now, let's say she doesn't clap back and she lets all these... So what you're saying is when you're on social media and such uh, on big platforms and you have all the success, they're saying that learn that with uh, success, what, what happens? More money, more problems. Of course. Exactly. So how are you going to be uh, able to have a peace of mind no, on social media? No, 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 no one's... Yeah. Forever, no one's never gonna have a hater. No, I the whole world has haters. No, I believe that. What I'm saying to you is, gotta love you're them. forgetting. You guys, you guys are just taking away the human. No, no I'm saying like, the I human aspect know. is she can take uh, every human mm-hmm. has I, can I, take so much until yeah, they get to the edge. Sure. Every human. You're right. So you can make fun of me all day, and I can keep deflecting, keep deflecting. If I don't say anything, and I, maybe this is the way that she deals with it. The clap back is how she gets over it. That's how she, she releases it. Yeah, that's how she releases. And that's how she stays Cardi B. Let's say she doesn't respond or doesn't say anything. It eats her alive. a hole of depression and it can eat her alive and this fame can spit you up. We've seen that happen. Sure. They do drugs, they, they they have like depressing lives, like they already have enough things going on. So now if this is her one way of venting, I'm not mad at it. Clap back all day. Get it off your chest. No, but I, I, she's gonna have to take what comes with the clap back. So what she's clapping no, but when she's clapping back and more problems come, she knows more problems are gonna come, but guess what? She say at least I got to say something. At least I got soft my chest. Do you know what I mean? Maybe she won't respond to what people say to her afterwards, mm-hmm. but that one thing, she's gonna say everything she needs to say and get that off her chest and talk her shit. Huh. And that helps her. That's what I'm saying, because we're human. Yeah. We can only take so much. You can you can make fun of me all day. One bad day I'm having, the wrong joke. She says it. She the wrong joke. You can talk about me. me now you guys talking about my kid. That's what I'm saying. You're saying my kid. That's what I'm saying. She look like me. That's what I'm like, saying. That's the kind of work that I'm doing. Now you're crossing the line. Lines. You can make fun of me all day. Mm-hmm. We can sit here all day, make jokes. I make jokes with you all day. And the wrong person can come inside here and say not even, not even uh, a joke as bad as what you guys are saying. Mm-hmm. I was having a bad day. I've taken so much. One person says, "Yeah, smooth. Yeah, you're a loser." Yeah, yeah. It's not even. It's not even a the crazy hell? joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they call me a loser, and I snap. No facts, no facts. You know what I mean? Because I'm a human at that end of the day. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just saying the human aspect of it all comes into effect sometimes. We gotta understand that these celebrities and these people that are helpful higher time are human. I say this though. I feel like women have to uphold to a certain type of etic- etiquette and standards on social media more than men, especially Muslim women. I feel like as a hijabi, I feel like I got ridiculed more on social media when I put on the hijab than when I didn't have a hijab on. You were in the religion in your head, of course. Yes. Everything's like, you were in tight clothes. You're doing this. Oh, you listen to music. You're doing this. What's that around your head? You know, and it's like, sometimes it, it doesn't even have to come from like the Ajinabi community. It comes from your own community. Like, you all of a sudden feel like um, you're almost not good enough to be in that kind of Islamic realm and then you feel like okay you know what but I'm trying to be a better person so what am I doing wrong and I feel like social media it shines a light on all your downfalls sometimes yeah. because like oh, I was a hijab once and then I took off my hijab and I came back on social media hijab on then I came back with hijab on then I came back with a going on you know and it's like damn this, this is confusing just confusing us and it's like I'm confused 
myself. And that's why this is a journey for me. I tell people all the time, if you're going to live by, oh, I look crazy, like I can't wear this and I can't do that. You're living for people and you should be living for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our religion. Like, but you're sharing, you're sharing. I'm fighting my demons yeah. and it's, 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 it's even more pressure when you're fighting it in a public eye. Of course, but you're sharing your journey, right? So now it's obviously going to be difficult. A journey is going to have ups and downs. So when you're at your ups and you're out here and you're looking fly and you put out a fit and you say, this is me, well, I'm 12, I'm feeling myself today. Correct. And you put out and you get all your girls and all your homies digging you up. You're yeah. feeling nice. Yeah. There's always going to be that one or two negative comments. Yeah. Always. No matter, no matter how you do it. But I feel like no it's different between somebody not liking how you look and literally somebody tearing down. Um, they're going to find a way. You are processed. Like, no, they're going to find a way. I feel like guys, no one could tell how do I say this? If your iman is going up and down, like nobody really knows if you're a practicing brother. Like you put your majelas or your bar, whatever your whatever you like to wear, your Nikes, and then you could go to Jum'ah, whatever, whatever. Your social media doesn't display your ups and downs when it comes to your iman. I feel like for women, it's so easy to be called a fake hijabi, a fake this. Oh my God, this girl's going to Jum'ah. Last night she was at the club. Like, no, really, it happens to girls. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it's so structured see? to the point that it's oh, like, sorry. don't record me. Like, so I have friends that would wear hijab to like work and stuff. It's just cultural thing that it's their day-to-day -day life but they do so when they travel and stuff they take out their hijab and it's like oh don't post me because I don't think like it's like this it's not about fearing Allah anymore it's fearing the people no, people's wrath is very bad no, it, no but also as you know but, men but don't get that no, though see, no they do Wallahi, I they, no, you don't see that uh, side though but you're a girl you don't see that side right because how do people know you're going to up and down you, when you're wearing the same flag no, like and you're 12 no, I'll tell you though yeah, so let's say there's a brother that's like a regular dude He's just in the neighborhood, he's kicking it, he has his fly kicks, he's a fly Social brother. Media. He does wait, he does his thing. Now he posts pictures with his with his fly jays, he's doing his thing, whatever. Now that same brother says, you know what, I'm gonna go on the path of you know of the religion. No, 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 it's not even so. He puts his pants a little higher. One, two. Yeah, he wears his kufi, one, two. he has his prayer done, he's doing his thing. There's gonna be someone in the comments that's well, gonna, there's gonna never happen. Never happen. Never happen. It does never happen. 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 You don't see it. That's the thing. That's unfair. It happened. It happened. You don't see it. That's no. the thing. I'm telling you, it never happened. Happen. I'll tell you what, so no. it probably did happen. I don't want to belittle that. Allah, it could happen, but it's not to the extent that we're going to go through. No, I think I'm brothers will go through that. Like, I think girls love when a nigga are dope. If anything, just get nice and take like, oh, no, that's not the religion first. You see, what? That's not the religion. What? The thobe is not the religion. No, it's not the well, religion. It's that's a cultural thing. thing. That's no, an no, Arab no, cultural no, thing. No, that's no, not no, Islam. Well, you can wear like kameez to like yeah. things that are no, like modest. No, what I'm saying is, dressing. No, what I'm saying is, it's not at least for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm done. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fair enough, but what I'm saying is, not for example, no, I'll, you know, I'll give you an example. Not all the time. Like, you know, I'll give you an example. Like, me, me, I'm, 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 I'm a regular dude. I'm a regular dude. And there was a point in time where, in my life, you know what I mean, I got, and I was getting religious, I was getting closer, but we know Elahi and do my thing, mm. you know what I mean? I'm so, path. yeah, yeah, I was on the, you know, inshallah, that's the path I want to be on forever, you know what I mean? So, I went, and now I'm pulling up, like, Islamic quotes, and I'm trying to get people that will, of course, and do things. People are saying, yo, brother, you know, the, you, you know the religion? No. You're Muslim? You do this? People are ridiculing me for a decision I'm making that as a person. So now I'm on this path and let's say one day I go out and you see me out with some homies that are, you know, a little, a little, a little, that yeah, have fun. They, yeah, I like to have fun. They like to have fun. They, like yeah. to see, they see me out with them. Now they can no, say, oh, this brother, no. this brother is no. fake. He doesn't do what he does. No, this brother does other things. Yeah, they do. To feel like they feel our struggle, they don't. No, we do. Everybody struggles. Their struggle ain't no different. We all struggle. You know what it is? We all struggle. As a woman, I've never seen a brother going from a kameez to like, I got half and then go back to a kameez. We're like, oh my god, how dare you in one week he do that? We're like, damn, okay, brother's on the path of the sunnah. And no, yeah. it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. Like I'm telling you, it's not. Different like, perception. Count on, that's count what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. Your perception is different than my perception because you're on the other side of it. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? I'm on the other side of what you're saying. You're telling me that's what's happening, and I, I'm gonna trust and I'm gonna believe you. And I'm gonna say, Bella's right. So, Bella, agree with me. Okay, that's all I, I agree that could happen in any case scenario. But I wanna say, first of all, there's more girls on social media than males, regardless. I feel like there's I more them. women in the world than men. Okay. So, what success have you had with social media? So, a style of posting. So, what has been successful for you, Bella? Because, like, you know, you're, Hold on, you're, 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 you're somebody. You know what I mean? You're not a nobody. You're somebody. You're somebody in some places. You're Honestly, I'll tell you this. The only way to be successful on social media is to be consistent. That's it. Me, like, I think I have uh, probably 6,000 followers going to 7,000. In my books, that's nothing. nothing. For somebody who like don't, I don't post at all. I post rants. I, I went on YouTube. Like, I've dabbled and dabbled on social media, but I've never reached my full potential because I am a workaholic. A lot of people, they want to stop their careers and stop their everyday life oh, like. and, and focus on social media. I felt like social media for me, it's always something fun. It's never something that I want to indulge in because I feel like I see the negative path and the negative outcome that comes with it. The money's never worth it. Do you feel like, because you said you do it for fun, do you feel like you can have more of an impact with this seven to 6,000 that follow you than having a major you follow? You know, I don't... Because you I'll, said... Yeah, you know, like, you're right, you're right, you're right. The beginning, I'll tell like, you this. You know, I'll tell you this. I feel like sometimes there's no place for me in the hijabi YouTube community. I feel like I do not relate to any of them. I feel like they don't talk about everyday problems. I feel like they don't, have, they don't have the same struggle. Yes, I, they just make up and life is good. Make up and it's that's they don't want you to talk about the reality of things. Like I've lost a brother, I've lost a father. I come from an impoverished neighborhood. I'm in a community where violence has taken probably 50% of, of males that I grew up with. Like I come from a dark story and for me to come on social media, I either have to try to do the whole fake, oh my God, makeup, eyelashes, makeup, eyelashes, or I have to think, talk about things that are true to me. And I feel like I'm never really gonna get all those endorsements if I don't talk about the vain things these girls talk about every day, you know? No one talks about, first of all, I don't have one YouTuber that's mainstream that talks about the Dean. There's no Dean talking. It's literally, I'm wearing hijab, I am putting a new, um, I don't know, like a, a Eid decorations in the house, yeah. but no one wants to talk about what Eid, com Eid comes from, where it derives from, the salat, because who's endorsing these girls, yeah. right? So, what no, success have you had? Wait, what did you add? <laughs> what success have you had with your posting on any social media? You want me to tell you stories about MySpace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any story from anywhere. <laughs> if you're not Guys, no anywhere. man has no social media that um, began no. after 2009. No, he might, he might, he might be. He you know, might have an Asian Avenue. His name might be QD99. <laughs> Uh, I started Asian Avenue, you know, right? That was my first social media. Because I had three of Vietnamese close friends, and they made me an Asian Avenue, and it's like Black Pilot Asian. Coach Indian. All right. So, when it comes to social media, I never, I don't know, I just posted pictures of what I like. Mm -hmm. My pictures that I took that I liked. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to have Instagram. <laughs> But uh, that ain't that that, that ain't that ain't cool. That ain't the move. No, it got deactivated. I was uh, dating a girl at the time, uh -huh. and I gave her the password for my Instagram. Ooh, she saw the DMs. No, oh. it wasn't because of that. No, it's because I ended up. Uh, I got locked up, and when I got locked up, I, I didn't tell her that I was getting locked up. <laughs> <laughs> so how did she she found out to Instagram. And then she got your ad account deactivated. When you needed it she most. She was a little angry. She deleted it. When you needed it most. <laughs> she deleted it. And she was yeah. a riding and she was not dying. But it's a blessing. Oh, it's it's a blessing. Was. It was. It was a good job. Oh, she was a riding. So I, I never went back on Instagram after that. I can tell you guys about a pers my perspective from why I do feel the need to stay away from social media. Mm -hmm. 
know because I always want to have it inside of somebody who has no social media and that once had it. It's easy for somebody who's never had it. Like, it's not my thing mm-hmm. for you to go on it and, and then figure out, you know what, this is not for me. So I'll you tell you the inside. process. It wasn't my choice. It's just the way, it's just the path. <laughs> this is the path that I had that I was uh, led on by Allah. I didn't choose it. It chose, it chose me. It chose yeah, it's yeah, a big I, fact. I had so I ended up going to jail, right? I ended up coming out after about two years or something like that. Once I finished my whole sentence, I uh, just wasn't comfortable with using social media, just trying to figure out my life. Went to Africa for two and a half years. So that, those, let's say like about five years of me just- Real life. Real life. Yeah, you were living real life. So during those five years, I was finding myself. And in those five years, I realized the mistakes that I made because of social media, getting sucked into other people's problems, getting sucked into attention from uh, females, all of that stuff. I realized why it was detrimental to me. Thanks. And when I took a step back and I looked at it, social media from an outside perspective of not using it for five years, it scares me to go back into it. Like right now, I do, I do not want to go back into social media, even though I do understand the benefit of it and the necessity to have it in today's society. Like you, you can't communicate with people without social media in today's world. But I really appreciate living in a bubble. Like I live in a in a in a strange world where everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. But I like it. It's crazy is good. I personally feel like um, if I could go back and maybe before I became like social media quote unquote famous, I'm not, but you know, quote unquote. She is big. No, no, no. I would go back and I would do the same thing. Like I feel like there's a lot of negativity that comes with social media, but there's also um, people build their confidence through social media. Um, I feel like with me, I became so comfortable with the camera. I've become so com- comfortable with posting pictures. I remember when social media was just new, you had anxiety. You're just like, oh my God, this makes me look big. And, then I, and it's just like, you don't have that anymore because I've been, I've had social Instagram for like 10 years now. So I say whatever I want. I do whatever I have. 10 out go on. Like I just, I'm whatever. You're going to get whatever I feel for the day. When you're not used to um, showing, giving yourself to the public, it becomes very hard on you. It can be very, like anxiety and like you start overlooking them you, you start overlooking small little things like that's not how I sound people start hitting their own voice and now social media sends when, when you take a picture it shows you how much sense you get yeah. let's say 600 likes nine like what sense said like how many of them got sent to a DM literally said nine what seven. did you know that no I didn't I'll show you guys later because like I'm not that dude I don't get my stuff sent I don't get my stuff sent and then it shows them. you how many of them was saved <laughs> Instagram allows you to see people's pictures now. And I never got anxiety like that until that future came. I was like, what the? It's going on. What do you think they're doing with your pictures? Um, they're both saying, oh my God, why did you say that? Like, like criticizing me, criticizing me. But you know what? I'm beautiful. I'm very comfortable with my own skin. Let them know, let them and that's know. why I, I chose to feed myself to the wolves. People hate your own confidence. I call on social media a lot. My social media now and how it was 10 years back is completely different. Now I speak about Allah and I end my day with Allah and everything else in between is either my job, my nieces, my nephews, and it's not like the vain fit, stuff. The, fit, the outfit, the outfit here, the outfit. Yeah, 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 here and there. On, it's like on. people are not comfortable with their own skin and so they have to poke at you. Confidence breeds intimidation. I always said that. I literally wake up every day choosing peace and my DMs choose violence. Is that why you always hate <laughs> it's because you got an OVO shirt on and I like it. <laughs> but no lie, it opens so the whole world now has burner accounts. I have so many friends that have never had social media, they just want to keep up with everyday people. Yeah. And like, look what she's wearing, look how she looks. Oh my god, this is how she looked after a kid. And, I, and even the people that do have Instagram, the population of them that is open is very rare. Very. And so the open girls, we get ridiculed the most. Our pictures get bounced to the end, bound, bound, bound. Oh, she fell off, she's a write-off, she fell off, she's a write-off. But you know, it's okay, we did that. We chose that life. Yeah. And alhamdulillah, it is what it is. It's how you sleep at night. You know, smooth? They, yeah, they yeah. sleep smoothly knowing no, that I, I might be sending no, your pictures. No, I mean, I sleep smoothly. Because your pictures are closed or open? No, it's closed. It's 100% closed. First of all, I got to choose. And most of the times, whatever, I don't, like most of the people, I let them follow me and I follow them, whatever. But 
it's like you know, I'm not, I told you I'm not as cool as you, so like you know, my, I don't think I don't think, and I hope that my stuff doesn't get sent wrong. But if it does, you know, all the pictures are bangers. It's okay, you know. Nah. You know what I mean? Don't be a screen saver. Well, screen saver I say, I don't say, play it. If you're gonna make a fake page about me, make sure that display. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least pick that. Yeah, like, don't play with me. Don't play. Like, yeah. No, you know people. They're gonna hate on me. And this is when they do fake accounts of me. They change my name, Jamila. I get Jamila. I get one. Be a good fan page. Yeah. All right. If you're gonna be Bella's Bella Two L's fan page, at least at least take the bangers and put them up. But so let me tell you guys. Okay. I'm interested to hear. Hi. I'm gonna tell you guys. Shake, shake, up. Shake, 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 shake. You know what it involves? It involves Bella Two L's. Oh, okay. no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. First time I met Bella Twelves, I knew her Instagram name. I didn't know her. I didn't know who she was as a person, right? Mm. So I know her name. I know her social media presence and all of that, right? So obviously in my head, and what I'm thinking is, okay, this is about a big deal. So she's gonna, she's gonna move sick. I'm gonna keep it chill. I'm gonna I'm gonna 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 yeah. Do yeah. yeah. you feel me? So I come with the homies. You know, my people know. They know Bella. They know her people. So we're there, we're just kicking it, we're vibing. She is so normal. She is so regular. Mashallah. She's bashalim. She's talking. We're making jokes. I'm saying, this is a regular person. She's a human. Like, we're actually very regular, okay? And you like, my we're making fire. jokes. We're making jokes. We're, we're laughing. Mm. And we became people. 100%. We became homies just off the vibe and the realness of how we were as people. I'm, I I gravitated towards her because I'm like, she's not too much. She's not these girls that are gassed in the head that are, that are not going to give anybody the time and Day. We're having a regular conversation, chopping up, laughing, and then she's from the neighborhood, from the neighborhood. Like, Happen? we're just a, yeah, like a half of the having fun. Uh, and she's a human. And after that, like me, I attract people's energy. So the energy that you give up is what I'm going to give you. And if Bella had acted, Bella or two else had acted real crazy with me, I uh, promise you we, right. wouldn't, we wouldn't be sitting here. Uh, I'll tell you that much. I think social media, but, it, it gives people a facade. Like, even with the name Bella Big Deal, people don't know that, like, a stranger gave me that name one day and I was like me and my friend were arguing I was like oh my god I want to start Instagram and I think Bella Real Deal would be the, the, like a good name I wanted to be Bella Real Deal because I thought I'm the real deal like you know everybody yeah. thought they were real you know, yeah. and whatever and then I'm like my friend's like Bella Big Deal I'm like no it's gonna sound big like, like I'm chubby or something like, oh, I don't want to do that and then one last stranger guy one last stranger was listening to our conversation he said Bella Big Deal sounds better than Bella Real Deal and so I was like okay two kids one I'll take it so again like it's not like so oh, what I'm peer pressure <laughs> you're better than people, you're prettier than people, you have a bigger bag than them. No, I, I hope that everybody wakes up and wants to be the best and needs himself like, uh, I am really, you know, something like that. Just whatever is your stand on it. Stand on it. I want to talk about Nomad. But wait, wait, before Nomad got off social media, wait, wait. I used to, I would think the same thing about Nomad. I used to hear about Nomad on social media. I'm not even going to lie. People used to be like, oh my God, Nomad, just like that, you know? And they used to be like, he was like the famous, like, you know? No, I wasn't. Absolutely, you were. No man was a good looking dude. No yeah, man was a bad dude. He's still a good looking dude. He's just not on the ground. Yeah, so yeah, you guys see the bad. hits. His greatest hits have come down. But when his greatest hits were up, they were hit. Well, can, I, can I make you laugh? So when I first met um, No Man, I was like, oh my God, he's so quiet. What, what's the buzz about? You know, I was the guy that were like, they were like, yo, man, like loud and like, uh, what do you call it? Like, I rate and obnoxious. He's very pleasant. And I was like, to my sister, your friend is very pleasant. He's very quiet. You know, his demeanor was like headstrong and nice. And I'm like, okay. So I feel like social media allows you to have preconceived notion of somebody. And when you meet them, it's like they're totally not what you think of them. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, I got a funny story for you guys. Uh, yeah. So let us know. So back when I had social media, there was this girl from uh, Sweden. That, you were uh, international, right? <laughs> you know, internationally, I had a couple, couple for. So I was in London visiting family and uh, she was in London at the same time and we were supposed to meet up and it was uh, Carnival Weekend 2016. This is 2016. It's not that long ago, right? I went to 2019. Yeah. We know. You went to 2019. Viral. <laughs> Viral movie. Hi, God. So we were talking to social media for years. Never got to meet her. And uh, before we met, like she used to tell me she's like 5'11", you know. 
Yeah, okay. So, yeah. you know where this story is Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, because yeah, I have to see all the time. Yeah, I can yeah. tell she's 16. She plays for the sports. I, I know where this is headed. I don't know how tall, bro. Hey, you're not alone. No, you guys are giving me short boy syndrome. No, 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 no. So, 6'3? Wow. <laughs> But, uh, and if you're 6'3", uh, smooth is not for you. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> so we, we ended up meeting up and uh, I went with one of my cousins and my nephew to go see her. She was sitting with her friend. I sat down with her. We chopped it up. She has a beautiful personality. She's very funny and she's a great person. She's very beautiful too. So I get up to leave and I walk out and my cousin's waiting for me outside. She came out from she got up to and they were leaving and then I turned around and I'm not joking with you I had to look up and oh she was just taller she didn't look like that on social media is that what you're trying to get to no so I gave her a hug my hat fell off my head <laughs> and what's more hilarious about the story was you met her seated yeah and you just sat with her for a couple hours She's and she never got up we're still, like I, I still keep she contact with watch the person no, but like, this is my question, smooth question. Because you know smooth, like I play her off too much. Mm. She never got out to use the washroom. No. She never, so for whatever amount of time you guys had there, for maybe two actually. hours, yeah. you sat there, and at the end of the whole night, you guys she finally got out. Is that the narrative? I promise you, if you're 6'3", I am not a jungle gym climber. I would not do it. 6'3", I can't do it. Me person, this is you, smooth talking. You, make your you might be beautiful, you might be a model, beautiful. There's men for you in the world, and smooth is not one of them. I'm gonna keep it true, though. Some guys might like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're 6'3", or 6'4", as a dude, mm-hmm. and you get a 6'3", 6'4", girl, your children will most likely be in the NBA. Well, I don't mind, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind the NBA children. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But for me, I can't do it. Talk about social media etiquette. Um, there's also a huge um, difference on how married people are perceived on social media. Um, I, I have a lot of friends that are wives, um, and they always say like they're pressured to uphold a certain image of a wife? on Instagram. Yeah, What's that? Um, apron. <laughs> What, what, you guys, you're gonna get flamed for this episode. I'm telling you right now. No, I, I heard a lot of times you're asking for this. You're asking a question. He said, what's the So it's not the only way a white is meant to like, look at? What's the apron? Are you asking? Do you want me to answer? I, I answer, Barry. Well, here's the Correct. thing. When I, like I told you in the first time we did the spouse episode, I, I, I said the most important thing for a wife is can she take care of her kids? It's not about me. Can she can she feed her own kids? So back to my question, a lot of women that like I guess are married or wives have to uphold a certain standard um, of image of being a wife without an airy brain, um, uh, as opposed to like their husbands. Husbands don't have to like. Really show that they're married or that they have children. Sometimes women will be married and they only post just them all day, right? And niggas go into their DMs and then later on she's like, I'm married. And they're like, I didn't know that. No. But men are like that every day. No. Why do I have to show you openly that I'm married? No. I don't have to put my ring no. on Instagram. No, but they, you don't. people have to uphold to being a wife. No, but guys get mad if they confuse you for a single woman. No, but like if, I, if you're if you're a man, right? If your man is as most regular men, I, I'm speaking for me and yeah. people like me. Okay. If, you're if wife, I have a wife, right? Inshallah, I will. Inshallah. And she'll be bad, of Inshallah. You know? And if, she has, if she has an Instagram following and she has an Instagram page and, and, and she does a certain thing, I'm not a person that wants to be on the front of the camera, wants to be out there with her. And if that's my decision, I say I don't want to do that, that's okay. But when she's on there, yeah, flash a little ring. Let the man know that hey, this right here is taken. Be a personality, be whoever you want. Just flash a little window. So you want her, yeah, yeah. Okay, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think it's just uh, girls feel like men don't do that. A lot of men have children. They don't, they take Bob's life. You don't see his wife or his children on Instagram. Because, because, he's married because, to the because you don't need to share that. So there's no Not every girl that comes on Instagram as has a lot of followings, you know, right? So go to regular. Have like that. their whole page is built off of a family page. You, when you go to the same husband, and it's just him all day. All the all, yeah, that's all the vacation is just him. That want, is not fine. He that's weird. Want, why? He doesn't that's, want to share his That's family. weird. That's him. Maybe no. he wants a second wife. Oh, that's uh, how I see it. No, no, no. That's how I that. see it. I don't think it's well, like that. Well, that's how it would work. Exactly no, what Paul no, that said. No, yep, no, he brought no. No, you see, no, you guys are playing games. Oh, you guys are playing games. You two are playing games. I need to know no. when you come on my TL that I'm like, oh, okay, I'm about to go, oh, this is.
this brother talk. Okay, oh, he's from the West. Ooh, fire. I don't know that you're married and you have kids. No, no, now you got me no, liking no, a married no, man's no, pictures? No, no, no. no, just like you're flashing right, a red you're right, you're right. flash. No, you're right. Awkward. No, you're right. You're right. No, no, that man can. That Not man flash, can right? Just show half of your wife's face. Right. I don't want to see no. the whole Ayan's face, her hijab holding your kids sideways. No. I need an That's indication that you're a married man That's with children. Much. You got to show that you are a property of your wife. Yes. No. You know what you do? I'm going to give you guys the man with tip. Don't worry. Just put the ring and your wife's initials. And at the bottom, put kids. If you have kids, put their names at the bottom. That's enough. I you're know. doing enough. One line. Okay. That's enough. I, right? You better be happy. You better be happy. Yeah. You see? You better be happy. 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 You better be
me rant, ha ha, you even be looking at your social media funny, ha ha, I'm like, what you laughing at? You wanna laugh at hell? Because I don't know what you do it. I didn't run for the social media. Shut up, I don't press it. Okay, so this is, this is pro-officer. Uh, that's, that's irrelevant for me because I'm not on social media, nor am I going to marry an old girl who uses social media. You don't know that. Excuse me. No, 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 me, inshallah. No, no, me, I'm going to get at you. Pause. If you're marrying a girl at this time, they mm. 80 to 90% chance yeah. she has social media. No, can I, can I, can I tell you something? 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 Are you talking about a girl that never had social media or you're telling if you meet a girl, your significant other, you're going to tell her to get off social media? No, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to uh, tell anybody to do anything. Okay. Because I, I don't believe in telling people what to do, right? Okay. Um, you're not a parole officer. I'm not a parole officer. Okay. I'm the only PR here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. PR sounds probably really shouldn't just like that. I, I look at things differently. I see the dangers of social media differently from my own experiences and uh, I wouldn't want to um, get involved in a relationship where I have to worry about the problems of social media. Okay, so now let me but talk. how about if she won't post you or anything? She just wants to keep her social media. You know, uh, well, I, you, you know, that? everybody's everybody's different, right? Everybody wants what they want, and when I see social media, my biggest fear is getting married to a woman and she's breastfeeding my children on IG Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Stop the madness. That's good. Though. That's okay, good. Okay, but not. I'll tell you. Now let me tell you. Let me tell. Let me talk to you, brother to brother. Yeah. Talk to you. As as you're running, I'm running. I'm sorry. So now, uh, now, no, that's not what's happening. <laughs> I'm, we're just having a real big talk. I hate it. So now, no man, you see a girl. Me and you, me and you were the same, right? We like to, we like to move in real life, right? Yep. We're not online pimps. Yep. We're real life pimps. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We like to let the ladies know what's up. So now you talk to a girl. You see her. You see her. She looks nice and everything. She's like nice and modest. She's all of that. Nah, she looks good. Want her until she right? Wait, hold up, hold up. She, you and her talk, right? She's giving you the sauce, you're giving her the sauce, everybody's saucing each other, that's how it works. The soup is good on both sides. When the both sides are cooking, the soup is better. Ah, you feel me? Right. It's not good when one that. side is cooking. So you guys cook up together, you guys do all of that now. You're feeling her and everything, and she has a social media. But you already know that's that from stop. Stop. I don't think that's gonna stop. You don't get that far. You already knew from the beginning, you guys know if you have social media or not. You should, you should, you should. Yeah. She has 120 followers. I would already know. I don't use social media like Yeah, you wouldn't know. But I'm saying, she has 120 followers. She has 120 followers. 120 followers? Yeah, she has 120 followers. What's wrong with her? No, 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 I'm saying, no, just, just in case, no, just in case, if that's his thing. He just prefers saying. the preference, he said. Yeah. I prefer my myself on social media too. I'm gonna be on the she knows you can't. You can't work with the pro officer. She can be cool. You can't be cool. What is this? No, no, no. no we can't be cool together. No, it's it's a, it's a we can't be cool. I definitely think guys are over um, indulging in social media. It gives me like fear feminine vibes. <laughs> no, not like. So I social think, media is only for women. No, I mean, you say. we indulge That's in it. Like, kicks of the day. And da -da -da -day, and da -da -da -day. Most guys I ever dated, they don't even have social media. I'm the social media. I, I do that for the boys. No, you're the social media. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the whole media. You, you, you're the whole media you, too. You go and you just have your 120 followers and close your. Okay, so she's the media team, mm -hmm. she's the comedian, well, she's the whole right. opposite. What is the guy? Is he just like Mark? Like she's Bernie Mac. She's not Mark Cannon. The guy has to be Mark Cannon. I'm putting some respect on my name. I just, that's, that's that walking. No, no, See, Beyonce right now, she's all over social media. Jay Z is quiet. Like sometimes it's interesting. You just have to catch Jay Z. Like he's not on here talking about kicks of the day. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna be good to the day all day like you're mad calm uh, all right. you know uh, that's the, I don't these, mind it these are all Bella with two L's views yeah. these are her views you know like uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you what the most attractive thing I've ever seen a woman do to be your page no <laughs> <laughs> what is it a sheep birding what would that mean Herding sheep. Herding a sheep, yeah. Okay, so why? I saw a girl so herding sheep. Herding sheep, yeah. And that was like, that was the most attractive thing I've ever seen in my life. My goodness. You didn't go to Africa. This, oh, this, 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 this brother, this brother, <laughs> this brother right here is different. He's absolutely different. He's absolutely different. This brother is different. So who are we giving Somali Spotlight to? You better be a big social media person. So today on Somali Spotlight, so we've been discussing social media etiquette, the do's and don'ts and how to navigate social media in our spotlight. For this week, I personally want to spotlight a social media 
influence, who is a role model to all people, a person of high character who I admire for her toughness, elegance, grace, and kindness. For these qualities, I've chosen my very own Bella with two L's. And the crowd cheers. You know what I mean? She's been navigating social media for a long time. She's been excelling. You know what I mean? There's a hadith by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah loves a person. He calls Jabril saying, Allah loves so and so. Oh, Jabril love him. So Jabril would love him and then would make an announcement in the heavens. Allah has loved so, therefore, loved so and so. Therefore, you should love him also. So all the dwellers from heaven would love him or her, and then he or she is granted the pleasure of the people on the earth. Yeah. So, so guys, um, I'm, with that, I'm very right now, I'm very what we're doing is, as people have been saying these days, is we're giving flowers to the people while they're here. So, Bella's right in front of us. She comes here every week. She she travels. She goes out of her way. She's doing this out of the love. And the love and admiration and respect I have for Bella is, is unmatched. You feel me? She's my big sister. You know what I mean? She always finds a way yeah, to... Yeah, you said big as a big way. Like... No, 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 no. Not, not big. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a little bro. You feel me? But like the love and the advice like she's always she's always there to humble me whenever I get out of my control and I go into my smooth operator bag and I get too crazy I know little two L's is gonna be there to tell me yo yo slow down so this is not how life works and I come to her you know what I mean with good times bad times I know I can connect with her I know she's always gonna have her line open and she always has I always can connect with her she can always connect with me and I feel like over the years our bond has gotten stronger and the respect okay guys I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop in there because I feel like I'm gonna cry right now you know thugs cry too um, <laughs> um, after they took the whole episode to like destroy me okay they, you're just, they're just trying to butter me up right now so I love it um, I'm very actually honored um, it is a privilege to work with these two men for many different reasons I feel like as a team um, we sometimes bicker and uh, fight but it comes from a, a very loving place that's what um, families do right? that's what families do especially our brothers and sisters and uh, we don't take anything personal and we hope that you guys come here every single episode and take something beneficial um I did not make them make me a spotlight. I'm actually very dumbfounded because yeah. I was like, Bella, she had, she had I, seen, I seen a Bella on there. I'm like, what Bella he yeah, talking yeah. about? And she heard she, and then she, her eyebrows I'm rolled. Like, and she's looking, and she's saying, who are they talking so about? Nosy. She, she, like, she, tried, she tried to get the answer before. I was like, why is he ripping the book for me? Yeah, like, and she's looking at me like, what are you looking at? Who are you talking it's about? It's an honor to be talking about too, Bella guys. with two L's. Mm. Don't play with her. Thugs cry too. Mm. And thugs, and thugs need love too. Mm. Um, but I uh, feel like this is a huge role to fill. I'm not even going to lie. When I first was invited to uh, be a part of this, um, I was kind of shy and did not feel like I could fit the role. And it's crazy. Yeah, of course. A lot of people think like people think that I, um, I'm good at everything. I feel like I've always shunned away from coming on podcasts because of like cancel culture. I feel like a lot of the times I'm very passionate about what I speak on and I never want my words to be misinterpreted um, especially when I know that a lot of young girls listen to me like a lot and so I thought whatever I put out to the world um, it could either benefit somebody or somebody could take it a different way and so I want to tread lightly on any message that I say even though everything's banter we're kicking it um, and we're just here to have fun um, there's there's a huge role you're playing when you're here sending a message out to the world and I feel like I wouldn't choose uh, any better members to uh, assist me in that um, so thanks guys you guys rock okay, we got you, got you yeah, let's go we got you um, and so we're going to move on to the baraka of the day because we never want to leave you guys so February is Black History Month and in commemoration for it we decided to highlight black Muslims who impacted the world and today we are highlighting al Haji Malik Al-Shabazz aka Malcolm X yeah yeah El-Haji yeah. signifies a, pilgr a pilgrim to Mecca 
and um, Malik means king and Shabazz was a family last name that identified his wife and children. Born May 19, 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska as Malcolm Little. Malcolm spent his youth living in a series of foster homes after his father's death and his mother's hospitalization. In 1943, he moved to Harlem, New York, and he got caught up drug dealing, gambling, racketeering, and all types of illicit activities. And he eventually moved back to Boston, where he eventually got arrested and sentenced to eight to 10 years for robbery. It was in prison he met a self-educated man named John Bembry. Malcolm would later describe John as the first man I ever had seen command total respect with words. It was during his time in jail he got introduced to the Nation of Islam. In 1948, Malcolm wrote to Elijah Muhammad, the leader of the Nation of Islam. Muhammad advised him to renounce his past and humbly bow in prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was there that Malcolm turned his life around and focused on seeking knowledge. In 1964, March, Malcolm, now known as El Haji Malik El Shabazz, officially left the Nation of Islam and shifted from black versus white racism narrative and took to Sunni Islam, and he expressed his experience at Hajj in a letter called Letter from Hajj. I'm going to read a passage from that letter. There were tens of thousands of pilgrims from all over the world. They were of all colors, from blue-eyed blondes to black-skinned Africans. But we were all participating in the same ritual, displaying the spirit of unity and brotherhood that my experiences in America had led me to believe never could exist between white and non-whites. You may be shocked by these words coming from me, but on this pilgrimage, what I've seen and experienced has forced me to rearrange much of my thought patterns previously held and to toss aside some of my previous conclusions. This was not too difficult for me despite my firm convictions. I have been always a man who tries to face facts and to accept my reality of life as new experience and new knowledge unfolds it. I have always kept an open mind, which is necessary to flexibility that must go hand in hand with every form of intelligent search for truth. During the past 11 days here in the Muslim world, I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and slept in the same bed while praying to the same God with fellow Muslims, whose eyes were the bluest of blues, whose hair was the blondest of blondes, whose skin was the whitest of white. And in the words and in the actions and in the deeds of the white Muslims, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims of Nigeria, Sudan, and Ghana. We are all truly the same brothers, all praises due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. One of my favorite movies, I always watch these movies yeah, over and over again, Malcolm it's so X. enlightening. Say with Malcolm X that like, I admire and I actually love about Malcolm X is that as we're talking about the past episodes was going against the tide, mm -hmm. he went against something that he was taught and he felt was right which was the nation of Islam. And he went to the Muslim land to do Hajj and saw that whatever he was being taught, whatever he was being told, wasn't the full truth. Mm -hmm. It was some truth, but it wasn't the full truth. And he was willing to leave his heart and his mind open and have that change his views. And he was always willing to learn. And the thing with him is he represents the beauty of Islam. Yeah. Like we always see on television and everything, they always put the negativity of Islam. Correct. They'll never put the beauty of Islam. They'll never put a white man, a, a Somali man, a black man, a man from Poland, a Spanish man. A Somali man or black man? You're gonna you're gonna shut the whole. He said Somali. Then. Black, <laughs> black. No, but I'm saying I'm saying Ghanaian, yeah. Ghanaian, Somali, Sudanese. 
Polish, Italian, uh, Spanish, whatever background you are, mm-hmm. you're all Muslim. Right. In Hajj, you'll see all the different colors of the rainbow, mm-hmm. all in one place. He opened people's all, minds up. All being Muslims, mm-hmm. all bringing the culture together. It's not every day negativity to Islam. Correct. He brought a positive light and understanding Brotherhood. that they didn't have. People didn't understand Islam. It was, it was, it was like it wasn't common. You know what I mean? People saw the nation, but they never knew of regular Muslims, mm-hmm. right? That there's regular people that are practicing Islam. A brother, your brother could be a regular white dude with blonde hair and blue eyes. Mm-hmm. He opened up the world to the possibility of a Muslim being endless. Yeah. And the beauty of that. Beyond skin respect. and beyond um, ethnic background. Yeah. And that's going to take us to next week's episode. Um, I know we want to, we had a lot to unfold right now, um, but uh, gun violence, that, that, that's going to be next week's episode. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a heavy topic too. Um, and uh, it's going to be a topic that... Um, <laughs> Resonate with different. yeah, it hits yes. different, and it's gonna resonate with all of us. It's gonna be an eye opener, and like I'm not gonna lie to you, we're gonna speak from a place of not 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 hate, At all. not 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 a bias, not, not even because we're all from different yeah. uh, parts. We all have of different the stories, city. different upbringings, but we're gonna talk real. We're gonna get to the nitty gritty and talk about. What our community needs to do, well, what steps we need to take to come. Instead and of just focusing on the negative. So we're going to get into a scary subject that some people would think, but what we're going to do is we're going to humanize it. We're going to this. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna open this box up, you know what I mean? Hopefully we have some awesome guests that may have more insight on this. And I hope you guys tune in because this episode is going to be heavy. deep. It's going to be heavy. And... I think it's going to resonate with a lot of you. I feel like a lot of us are going through this and want to talk about it. And we're going to give you guys an opportunity to understand it from our point of view. Bring it to light, dude. Bring it to light. I hope everybody tunes in. And that was this week's episode of... Unfinished, guys. (laughs)